Hello everybody, Brad Butcher, Four Star Ninja Academy, and we're here with FINA Speed 7U, 9U, and 11U course. I'll be doing the run through real quick, and then we'll go through and after the demonstration, go through all the rules. There'll be slight variations for each age group. The 7U, which is this is set up for, will be the easiest. Each level will get a little bit difficulter with a little more distance. So we'll explain that as we go. So I got Dusty on the video. Woo! Hopefully I can get through this 7U course <laughs> yeah. without failing. Let's go, Brad. So here we go. First obstacle is agility. We got our quad steps and our A-frames. Over to the orange pad where we have our bungee bars. This is obstacle number two. We'll have two bungee bars. Over to the orange pad that is clear. Third obstacle is balance. Ooh, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Next obstacle we have the ring slide there. Getting over to that orange pad. And then we've got our flying squirrels to the dog bowl obstacle. And clear. Then we've got the butcher block. To the ring slide. And the warp wall. And that is it. All right, guys. Now we're going to go through the rules for FINA Speed 7U, 9U, and 11U. And I'll explain the differences on each obstacle, what we'll be changing, and uh, um, show you yeah, the other options that will be used for those. First obstacle is the agility obstacle. We're starting on that orange pad. You are using the quad steps to make your way over to this orange pad. This is not completion of this obstacle. You're gonna continue on. So if you were to get onto this orange pad and go down to the mat, then that would result in a fail of the first obstacle. So stay on this orange pad, continue on through the A-frames, over the top of the A-frames, making your way over to this orange pad. This is going to be your point B. That'll be completion of the agility obstacle. Obstacle number two is the bungee bars. You're allowed the ring, the two bungee bars, and your point B, this orange pad right here. Um, no straps or bungees themselves, just the ring and bars. Once you are on your point B, you can make your way down to the mat on e either this mat, straight to this mat here, or you can drop down onto this side. All of our obstacles are on or past on our point Bs. So you can always finish by going over the top of an obstacle or of your point B points. You don't have to stay on them. So then we make our way onto our balance with our balance. We're using the white pipes, no wood or caster wheels. So no stepping underneath those onto the wood. We do go over the top of them. And then the metal bars only, no wood onto the beam up to the orange pad again on our pass this is your point b then we can make our way over to point a of the next obstacle uh, excuse me so there'll be slight variations on the balance um, we will be taking a one of the short grab bars out and spacing the um pvcs the pvcs um spacing those out a little bit um, for the 9U and 11U. So those gaps will be slightly bigger, making that a little bit more challenging. Um, and I forgot to mention, on the bungee bars, the bungee bars will be a bigger gap for 9U and 11U. For 11U, there will be no ring. It'll just be bungee bar to bungee bar. I forgot to mention that. So it'll be a bungee bar lache from bar to bar. So you will not be able to use that ring. The ring won't be there for 11U. All right. For 7U on this obstacle here, we are using this side only. 
So as Brad demonstrated in the video, using those rings to get ourselves over to this orange pad, this will be your point B. For 9U and 11U, you will be transferring over to the second run of rings, making your way down where this orange pad will be adjusted. So you will have to use this side to get to your dismount. All right, then we have our flying swirls. We allow the white handles, the dog bowl, only the blue part, no straps or mounting hardware on this, and making our way over to the second set of flying swirls to our point B, which is our orange pad right here. Again, on or past. Once you have got on or past this, you are allowed to go down to this black carpet. Differences. Uh, the difference is with, um, so 7U and 9U will remain the same on the flying squirrels op squirrel obstacles. Um, this will be removed for 11U and these flying squirrels will be adjusted over, it will be a about eight feet. About eight feet, uh, eight foot flying squirrel lache for the 11U. And then, so when we are on this path, this is your point B, do not come back to this side. Pretend this is your cliff. So once you are on it, you can go past it or down to the black carpet. If you go to this pad here, we will call that as a fail. So on or pass. On uh, down here, down to the black carpet with the butcher block designed by Bradley Butcher. We are using only the tops of these blocks. No bases, sides, middles, only the parts that stick up. They are painted nice and orange, so there's no confusion. And then they do have a little bit of um, like tech, tech tape. None grip. Deck tape, uh, yeah. whatever it's called, on top, so it gives you a little extra grip. So making your way across over to this gray pad, which is your point B. Then you have, that becomes point A of your zip line, big ring zip line. So you're allowed this wooden ring, no PVC pipe with any part of your body, just the wooden ring where you are going to slide onto this great pad and past. Then we are going to our final obstacle, which is the warp wall. For 7U, both rings will be hung down on the warp wall. For 9U and 11U, there will be just one ring, so that bottom ring will be removed. And that is going to be your FINA speed course for this weekend. Thanks guys, good luck, we'll see you Sunday.